Salut les étudiants potentiels pour étudier A-Level French à Glenthorne. Alors, uh, this is just a short information video to just go through the course to tell you all the information. Now, all of this will be in your information booklet, but I just wanted to talk through and give you an idea of what this course is about. On this slide, I've just got some former students who've talked about why they did A-Level French and where it's taken them. We have a high number of students who go on to do languages at university or they do stuff affiliated with languages like law and French, law and Spanish and that sort of thing. But even if you don't want to do a language at university, this is a great A-level to have in your locker. It is prestigious, it is academic and universities love it. So welcome to A-level French. Let me explain the course and tell you what to do. I'll do all of this in English. It's nice and clear for everyone today. Alors, so guys, this is what you study now. When you do A level language, you're not just studying the language, it's not just grammar and improving your French, and that is a big part of it. But you're studying culture, French politics, French history, French literature, French film. Um, so all of this is what you do. So basically, it's five or six A levels in one. Let me talk you through it. So in our first year, you're talking about contemporary French society. So you're talking about things like the family, but not like GCC, je m'entends bien avec ma soeur. It's more things like gay marriage. What are the laws and rules in France? Who's for it? Who's against it? What do you think about gay marriage? Discussing all these things in French. Education, again, not what you study, is looking at the different systems of education. The fact that university in France will cost you about a thousand pounds a year, whereas in Britain it will cost you nine thousand pounds a year, just tuition. We're going to be talking about that and the differences between them. And the world of work, not like quand je suis adulte, je veux être. That's fine. What we're going to talk about is things like strikes in France the right to work, um, working conditions and how they're so much better in France and they have more holidays than us in England but still get paid the same and are more productive. We're going to talk about all those sorts of things and you talk about French culture, so the influence of French music but not just French music, French, the French world and, and the music spoken. You're going to look at classic French music but also the, the rap in French in France is the second biggest producer of rap music. You're going to look at that and the influence of that Maghreb, North African black culture in music. You're going to look at media, so newspapers, uh, Charlie Hebdo, which links into terrorism and what you can do. We're going to look at freedom of speech in France and the fact that you can say things in France and publish things in France that you can't in England and the problems with that. And we're going to look at festivals and traditions to give you the feel of France. You'll also be studying a film and a book. I'll talk about those in a bit more detail. Then in year 13, it's more of a political year. You're going to look at contemporary French politics. You're going to look at immigration in France, integration and the extreme right. Do you know racist parties in France get about 20% of the vote? Now, this used to be shocking, but in England with Boris Johnson and the Tory party, it's basically the same now in England. You're going to be talking about this. Why is immigration such a problem in France? What is happening with the far right? How is integration different? In, Fra in England, we have a multicultural society, whereas in France, they insist everyone needs to be French. So you can't wear a headscarf in schools or you can't wear, wear, wear a turban in schools if you're Sikh. W what do you think of that? We're going to be talking about all these things. You're also, if you liked history at GCC, we do French history. I teach French occupation during the Second World War. Did you know that the Second World War in France ended in basically 1940? The French army were defeated within nine months and France was overtaken by the Nazis. There's a Nazi flag flying by the Tour Eiffel, you see, and there's pictures of Hitler just looking at the Eiffel Tower. He was there. He could walk around the French streets because the Nazis defeated France. We're going to be talking about life during the occupation. What happened? What happened to the Jewish people? What happened to gypsies and gay people and trade unionists and socialists? We're going to talk about the fascist regime that was put in place. And we're going to talk about those brave people who carried on the fight, who fought against the Nazi occupation and risked their lives to do it. So this is what this course is about. This is about society, sociology, culture, history, politics, all whilst you're doing this completely in French. So lessons will be very different to what makes them different from GCSE. 90% they're done in French, occasionally, particularly in year 13, it'll all be in French, but you'll have so much more French every, every week that that won't seem as daunting as it will do now listening to this. Homework is different 
before at GCC very much homework is to sort of consolidate on what you've done in the lesson whereas for A level homework is preparation for the lesson is prep you have to do the reading learn some vocabulary and have an idea of what we're doing and then in the lesson we're going to discuss it we're going to debate it we're going to make it more challenging for you so homework is completely different you prepare yourself for the lesson so you will also need to be speaking french you have to speak french in the lesson around school you should be speaking french this is how to get used to it you'll also have one-on-ones with some natural french some some real french speakers some naturalized french speakers and then finally lessons have variety you'll be doing reading listening speaking writing every single lesson you'll be doing something different to make sure you're prepared okay so i wanted to specifically talk about literature and film to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into if you thought about doing film studies for a level or if you thought about doing english literature or you enjoyed english literature when you did it for gcc this a level covers both so first off you'll learn a film you do this usually with dr Adebemi. the film is called like n which is called hate and, and i think the, the cover says it all is set in a gritty banlieue a poor district in saint denis north of paris um three characters one arab one jew and a black man they seek revenge for the death of their friend he's been brutally killed by the police and they get a gun and they go out to avenge their friend's death which if you think about all the problems now and police brutality in america and and, and the real the racism in america that's been really shown that always existed in the racism in the police force that's so obvious now if you go on twitter this film even though it was brought out in the 1990s is so relevant to today i think you'll really enjoy that end the literature you study is a bit different it's a story about two jewish boys it's a true story they live in paris the nazis occupy paris and take it over and even though they're the equivalent of year seven and year nine they've got to go on the run and they leave their house in paris and they have to run away from the nazis it's a fantastic story that gives you a feel of life back then during the war for, for, for jewish people of evading capture and it's all true it's an amazing true story you'll read this book and you'll have it like an english literature lesson so we'll discuss quotes we'll debate it you'll do essays on it that's how good your french will be so here we go if you like english history film studies this course will look into that but you'll do it all through the medium of french okay guys so finally everyone always asks me what's the exams like and they're fairly similar to the gcc you have three papers the first one they put the reading and listening together and they have a translation the listening you're actually in control of the text you've got so unlike gcc where the cd or whatever plays out and you listen to it you can stop it you can pause it you can rewind it you can listen to different bits of it which you might think sounds easier than the gcc is obviously genuine french so, so the french is challenging but you are in control of the listening that's how good you'll be the reading's got all sorts of different texts that you'll be used to and then the translation is from french into english that's the first exam that's paper one of a level paper two now this will show how good your french is you've got a translation into french but then you've got an essay of a film the film you've studied latin and an essay on sac de Ville, the literature so that's what it's like it'll be two hours long and you'll bang out two essays and do a translation in that time now you're probably thinking from gcc oh my god that sounds so tough that's how good your french will be think about your essay for macbeth or whatever you studied at gcc you'll be doing that in french twice and your french will be good enough to do that which is pretty cool okay and finally the speaking we always get the highest marks in speaking from all our debates in class the reason we argue and debate and speak so much french is because in the speaking exam you'll have one of the things we've discussed in class will be used again um, for you to debate so it might be music or the, the rise of the far right or racism in france you'll have to discuss it and give your viewpoint and we'll have a conversation and then for the speaking exam it's actually easier than the gcc if you prepare because you do a project i've started it with year next year's year 13 already you actually pick something that interests you about french culture and you do a project on it throughout the year you get a speaking slot to discuss it every week 
And by the time of the exam, you'll be really ready and really happy to do it. And you'll be speaking for 20 minutes and that won't seem daunting. You'll be speaking 20 minutes in French a lot. That's how good you'll be. That is the standard you'll be at at the end of this course. Alors, donc, finalement, we do offer some trips in year 12 just to just to make you have that feeling of what French culture is like and to try and to bring it to life a bit more than what we can do in the classroom. Now obviously with coronavirus one of these is limited um, but the other trips will definitely go ahead it just might be different times and different dates but that's fine. So the first one we do a welcome meal Year 13 will come along as well to this, and we go to Brasserie Zedale, which is just off Piccadilly Circus in London. But as soon as you walk through the door and go down the stairs, it is the most French place in London, and the restaurant's really good. Uh, it's got a really good French menu, so you can get a proper feeling for it. It's also nice to get together with Year 13, and for all of you to get together outside the classroom, because even if you know each other from GCSEs, It'll be different at A11, you'll talk to different people and hopefully we'll have some new students. So it's a nice way to get everyone together to experience some French culture and, and, and to have a genuine French meal and see what you all think of it. So that's the welcome meal, usually in the first few weeks, but we will see what it's like when we get back to school. Second will be on a Saturday, we go to the Institut Francais. Now this is in South Kensington, which is basically France of London. South Kensington is full of French boulangerie, restaurant shops, bookshops, uh, and loads of people who live there are French. So the, the Institut Francais is great. The French government run it, it's full of French people. There's a nice library, all like the French magazines and coffees and that sort of thing. And they've also got a cinema which shows some French films. So we'll go along to one of those, it'd be really nice. It'd be great to walk you around South Kensington as well, go into some French shops and show you what you can do. The final trip, obviously, is more in that because of coronavirus is run by an external company and they offer work experience in the north of France. You can go to the south as well but it costs you a bit more money and you're not going to the beach so um, it's a really really good thing to do. I did it when I was in sixth form and my French just got so good from spending a week in France doing work experience. It was hard but I loved it and, and it's one of the reasons I got so good so make sure you, you listen to those opportunities and I'll talk more about that when we know more about limits to travel and whatnot but those are your year 12 trips things to look forward to and yeah the first two will definitely happen no matter what the third one we'll see about national travel international travel and what we can do but that is hopefully something to look forward to so i hope i've introduced the course and i've told you a bit about it and you've got a better idea of what you're learning and hopefully you're into that and the exams and, and the trips and the sort of feeling you'll get from studying a level french um any more questions please just feel free to email me um i will get back to you all within a day i've got nothing to do on lockdown so please feel free to email and i'll hit you back with questions looking forward to seeing you in september so have a lovely summer hein? bon vacances hein? et à la prochaine fois au revoir